Hello students. So in this video, we will be discussing the problems related to the Nernst equation. Before that, let us consider the Nernst equation for EMF of a cell. For this, we are taking Daniel cell as the example. So we know that in the case of a Daniel cell, the cell reaction is represented as what? Zinc plus Cu2 plus gives what? Zinc undergoes oxidation that is Zn2 plus but Cu. So on applying the Nernst equation, on applying the Nernst equation, we know that in the case of Nernst equation, E cell is represented as electrode potential for the cell can be represented as that is E0 cell minus 0 0.0591 by N log the one which undergoes oxidation Zn2 plus by molar concentration of Cu2 plus. Now in this case we know that what is E0 cell? From this reaction we can say that the one which undergoes oxidation is what? It is our anode that is what? It is our zinc and the cathode consists of what in the Daniel cell? It consists of the copper electrode. So E0 cell can be represented as E0 cathode minus E0 minus standard reduction potential for anode. So what is E0 cathode? That is E0 of copper minus E0 of zinc. So on substituting this, we will be getting what for a Daniel cell, the Nernst equation can be represented. So based on that, let us do some problems. See your first question. What is the question? A cell is prepared by dipping a copper rod in 0.01 molar copper sulfate solution and zinc rod in 0 0.02 molar. So here different molar values have been given, concentration values have been given. The standard reduction potential for copper and zinc are. So let us first write down what is the standard reduction potential for copper is given as plus 0.34 volt and that for zinc is given as what it is given as minus 0.76 for zinc it is given as minus 0.76 volt now coming to our question what is the first question the first one is what will be the cell reaction you can see from the standard reduction potential as we have already discussed the copper is having a higher standard reduction potential than zinc. So the one which is having a standard reduction potential, higher value behaves as what? It behaves as cathode. So our cathode is copper and our anode is zinc. So what will be the cell reaction? Zinc plus copper gives what? Zinc undergoes oxidation. So we can write it as Zn2 plus. And since it is the cathode, copper is the cathode, it undergoes reduction giving Cu. So what is our cell reaction? Zn plus Cu2 plus gives Zn2 plus Cu. Now coming to our second question, what is that? What will be the cell representation? How can we represent it? I have told you, we represent it as how, in which way? ASC that is anode salt bridge cathode. So anode is zinc, so it can be represented as Zn by Zn2 plus. You can see here, here the molarity is also given, concentration is given. So we can write it as 0 0.02 molar salt bridge and for copper also it is given. So we can represent it as Cu2 plus 0 0.01 molar Cu. So this is our what? This is the cell representation. Now coming to the third part, what is that? How, oh sorry, what will be the EMF of the cell? So we can see that here different values are given for concentration. So the EMF can be represented as EMF or E cell can be represented as applying our Nernst equation, we will get E0 cell minus 0 0.059 by N log, what is that? Zn2 plus by molar concentration of Cu2 plus. Now what is the value for N? We can see here. What is the value? Zinc 
undergoes oxidation releasing two electron it is accepted by copper giving cu so what is the value for n it is 2 so e0 cell how can we calculate we can see that e0 cell is what it is e0 cathode minus e0 anode minus 0 0.059 by 2 log what is the value for z it is 0 0.02 by what 0 0.02 0, 1. Now, what is the value for E0 cathode, E0 anode? We can do it here. For cathode, it is zinc that is given as what? 0 0.34 E0 is 0 0.34 minus of minus 0 0.76. So, we will get 1.10 volt. So, E cell is equal to 1.10 minus 0 0.059 by 2 into on solving this what is that it will be 2 into 10 to the power of minus 2 by 1 into 10 to the power of minus 1 so on solving we will get it as log 2 so our answer will be 1.091 volt in our next question you can see that a zinc rod is dipped in 0.1 molar zinc sulfate the salt is 95% dissociated and at this dilution and what is the temperature given 298 Kelvin we have to calculate the electrode potential so this is the Nernst equation for electrode potential we have already studied the electrode reaction is written as what it is written as the reduction reaction so we can write it as Zn2 plus plus 2 electron gives what it gives Z where the value for N is what the value for n is 2 now you see in the question it has been given that we have got 0 0.1 molar zinc sulfate and it is how much dissociated 95 percentage dissociated what is the meaning for that that means for zn2 plus it is 95 by 100 into 0 0.1 molar what is that equal to 0 0.095 molar what is the value for zn2 plus it is 95 percentage dissociated and we are given 0 0.1 molar zinc sulfate so what is the value for zn2 plus it is 0 0.095 molar so on substituting the equation we will get e zn2 plus by zn equal to what is the electrode potential given here minus 0.76 minus 0.0591 by the value for n e 2 log 1 by 0.095 or we can alternately write it as minus 0.76 plus 0.059 by 2 and it will become log what 0.095 or on solving it we will get 0.76 minus 0.02955 and solving this we will get 3 minus 1.9777 how we are getting it as we can solve this one as what log 10 to the power of 3 minus log 95 so our answer will be what is our answer minus 0 0.7902 what will be our answer 0.7902 volt moving on to our next question you can see that here a cell a reaction has been given we have to calculate the e cell and the standard reduction potential for magnesium and silver is given from the standard reduction potential we can say that which is the cathode since this one is having a higher standard reduction potential this one is the what it is the cathode so how can we represent the cell we can see here magnesium undergoes oxidation giving what mg2 plus plus 2 electrons so it will be what it will be our anode now you can see that here 2 ag plus is the it accepts 2 electron and thus it converts to what 2 ag and this one is our what it happens at our cathode so before applying the what before applying the 
Nernst equation, let us first find out the E0 cell value. We know that what is E0 cell value? It is, again I am writing, it is E0 cathode minus what it is E0 anode. In the anode cathode value, it is 0 0.80 minus of minus 2.37 or we will get what it is 3.17 volt. So, E0 cell value is 3.17 volt. Now, on applying Nernst equation, what is our Nernst equation? It is E cell equal to what? E0 cell minus 0 0.0591 by directly substitute the value for n. What is that? 2 log mg2 plus by log of what ag plus is there but here you see what is that 2 so it is ag plus raised to 2 what will be ag plus raised to 2 so e0 cell value we have already found out it is how much it is 3.17 minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log the value for both has been given in the question. So, it is what it is log 0 0.130 by how much is given 0 0.001 molar. We can write it as what 10 raised to minus 4. What is that? Whole square. 10 raised to minus 4 whole square. So, on solving this, we will get our answer as what? 2.96 volt. What will be our answer? 2.06 volt. Let us see our next question. This question is slightly different. Here we are not asked to find out the EMF of the cell but it is already been given. The EMF of the cell is found to be 0 0.20 volt. Cell representation has been given. We are asked to find out the molar concentration of the anode that is the molar concentration of cadmium ions in the solution. The rest, the standard reduction value is given. So, how to do it? Again, we have to apply the Nernst equation. Before that, we have to write out the cell reaction. We can represent the cell reaction as what? Cadmium plus Ni plus 2 gives Ca2 plus Ni. So, what will be our E0 cell? E0 cell is what? Cathode minus anode. Which is our cathode here? Yes, the value for cathode is minus 0.25 minus of 0 0.40 volt. So, our answer will be what? It is 0 0.15 volt. What is our answer? It is 0 0.15 volt. Now, applying the Nernst equation, applying the Nernst equation, we can say that what is the Nernst equation? E cell equal to E0 cell minus 0 0.059 by 2 log what is that anode by whatever cathode or oxidation by what reduction so e cell value is given what is that 0 0.20 equal to how much we have got 0 0.15 minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log how to write it Cadmium plus by how much is given? It is being given here as point. Sorry, it's not point two. It is two molar. It's two molar. So we can write it as what? We can write it as two. Or how can we write it? This can be also written as log cadmium minus what? Log two. No, x by y. Log x by y is what? Log x minus y. Or we can say log or we can write it as logarithm of this one is equal to minus 1.690 plus 0 0.3021 which we will get as what minus 1.3879 what is that minus 1 but this is not answer we are asked to find out what we are asked to find out the value for this one so how to write it logarithm becomes what it becomes anti log so anti log will be what 2.621 
or our answer will be 0. Point, uh, how much you will be getting 0, 4, 0, 0.409 molar what will be our answer okay i am just writing it here it will be 0. 0.0409 molar you just do it and check whether you are getting this value or not hope these questions may be helpful for you